like packing I up will. ready to go. I'll ask the carry <laughs> on the other side because we have an opportunity to speak to Arteezy of a Shopify Rebellion. Arteezy, do you know that you've won now? Yes, it was it was epic. <laughs> but their throne died. That's all that matters. Epic from how many directions? So you guys actually seemed like you had a pretty clear focus. As soon as you knew that Alchemist was dead with no buyback, Lesh was dead with no buyback, you got the AC, you immediately barreled down mid, you knew that you needed to get like the minus armor. Was it immediately, okay, we're gonna take Ancient as soon as we walk down mid? Yeah, it was kind of like as soon as uh, we won the fight, and I think we killed Lesh. Uh, I asked Yopaj if he has gold for Divine, and then he said he'll go Desso. I said, so I said, okay, I'll go um, AC, and then we just uh, we went all in for it. <laughs> and for the majority of that game, I'm assuming you were playing under the impression, okay, let's just try to stall out for as long as we can. What would have been a more reasonable way for you to come back into that game rather than what actually happened? <laughs> Uh, I think for them to go high ground, it would have been the best fight for us. So even if they got Aegis, like we threw a couple fights, it went, things went bad. But uh, I think we could still always win this game because uh, of matchups and whatnot. So, um, and plus I believe in Yopaj, so he can 1x9 this shit <laughs> for us. So yeah, I mean, I think even though things went wrong, we always felt like if they go high ground, we have like the best opportunity to fight them there. And then even if they have Aegis and whatever, um, their heroes not necessarily can clear like the high ground uh, I'm, I like hearing that you already have the trust in your mid laner that much how much did it time to how much time did it take for you to build this trust because I talked to Bulba yesterday and uh, much like you I don't know the last time that you've come into a roster where you haven't had like background in history with most of the players but on this roster like you have not played with three of the players that you have so what's that experience mm -hmm. been like for you Oh, it's been it was it's been new, man. It's because we played with the same core of players from the last team for such a long period of time. Um, it's like a lot of things I haven't even realized about kind of making a new team. It's pretty much like going through the motions was a, even though I knew it's going to be difficult and going to take effort and time, it was still kind of like a weird thing to go through the reality of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I think it's been fun going through the motions. Uh, there's I'm learning a lot about my teammates. I actually feel like my teammates in, in scrims are griefing compared to their performances in these matches. So it's kind of like now, I'm, next time, and now I know, like, I'm just gonna go grief the next scrim. So I was kind of trying hard before, but now I know, like, I mean, Yopash just like feeds in all the scrims, so. <laughs> he's just training you, you know? The scrims are for your benefit, so you know what happens when he's actually playing well, then you don't even need to do anything. Like you said, he's gonna True. 1v9 this shit. I also got Kezi standing by <laughs> for a quick question what, as well. That's, that's literally what I said in the middle of the game. Yo, 1v9 this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey, take it away if you don't mind. Hello, Artur. I have a quick question for you. I would say you are playing some of the best Dota, at least in recent years, for yourself. Would you attribute that more to, let's say, some motivational spike from like playing in a new team and having new teammates? Is it your own, like, just, you know, like pubbing more, or is it, would you chuck it up to randomness? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a bit of like perception and stuff like that, because yeah. I think last dream league with the old team uh let me remember yeah when we played against spirit in the finals yeah uh before that i feel like we were playing super good as a team like everybody on that team was in form uh, our drafts were good our understanding was good so i think it has to do with mostly like people look good when they play the heroes they know how to play and like the team knows every, everybody kind of knows their job yeah yeah and uh like propel each other up there's no I in like team, so usually if one guy is playing good and four people are playing bad, it's not necessarily, it doesn't mean that one person is just like way better than his allies or sure. whatever the case. So I mean, it's a bit of randomness, I would say. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a clip for you from the game end. I'm sure you already talked a little bit about it, but I'm sure the viewers would love to know what goes through your mind like from this clip that you can see on Discord. Maybe you can talk a bit about like your point of view. Uh, when I saw this Alk run in without BK, I think we knew his BKB wasn't up, so he just kind of gifted us this like free fight. So like, okay, nice. And then when when they bought back, I was like, dude, just kill them. These guys can't even like they. It takes so long for them to get here. So I'm just like right clicking. I'm like, just keep fighting. Don't don't back up. Uh, yeah, I think that's what's happening here. 
then because the thing is once they don't have bkb charges they rely on like stuns to burst heroes because lifestealer in these fights where the fights are like yeah, super clowny yeah it's super it's like i just take my hands off the keyboard and i just press right click and i i can't die because it takes like coordination and like chain stuns to kill this hero at this point and the the scotty this is officially when i thought my scotty purchase didn't ruin the game right here <laughs> For the first this time. officially when i saw this when i'm like hitting them and i'm slowing them down I mean, now now my items look good so it's all for this all right shout out to the Rocio. and this is when we started talking about like deso and yeah. and divine and stuff okay no that that makes a lot of sense thank you for the insight and one last question before i let you go our tour how are you doing i know that you were feeling a little bit sleep deprived you were feeling feisty <laughs> on twitter how's life going right now for our our tour babayev um i mean generally it's going pretty good i i've had this like really bad neck sprain for a while i don't know what to do about it i've been going to like uh massages to help on my like shoulder and my neck but it's been rough to sleep um i've even changed like pillows we've got a new mattress for one of our beds as well so I've been, I've been just trying to figure out kind of the the root cause because my i mean my posture is quite shit, like in all honesty but i still feel like it's not it can't be that bad you know it's, it's like it can't be that bad i thought but so i've been trying to make some adjustments uh, sleeping's been hard though but Are you, yeah. do you still play with your legs up on your chair or you've stopped that habit uh it depends on my like mood oh. it depends also of the game state you know if i at the, in the medusa game at some point i'm pretty sure i just like i just raised my feet up on the desk i was like this this game is just shit. i'm done <laughs> so it, it depends on the game state i think all right and then one last question before i let you go rtz you know i love asking you for what music you've been listening to recently what's been on rotation in your playlist <laughs> that you have recommendations for uh listening to kanye's new album I Vultures, actually recently right. started, yeah I, I was listening to um you know i never listened to playboy cardi until recently so i've been recently listening to him is it because uh, you were was it before was it after your time were you too old for cardi at the time it's like one generation younger than you i, I guess so i just never really vibed with that kind of music before but now I, I i don't know my my music taste is very random sometimes i'll be listening to some random like rock i'll listen to some random it just depends like last month i was listening to k-pop a lot of twice um a couple months ago i was listening to some like rock kind of metal ish so it's I just, I think I just burn out of music real fast, and then I just try to switch it up, then I go back. I think my K-pop rotation is next month, though. It's probably soon. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Arteezy, thanks as always for taking the time to speak to us. Congratulations on a very absurd win of Dota, and best of luck in the rest of Dream League. Yeah, we probably didn't deserve this one, I'll be <laughs> honest, but thank you. All right, see you later, guys. Admitting it is the first step. We'll see you later, Arteezy. Bye.